if you are looking for, oops, oh. tell you about that in a sec, the most delicious fudgy chocolate cake that I'm even going to make a call is pretty damn healthy. You're in the right spot. I want to show you how to make this guy and make sure you stay to the end because I want to give you a bunch of ideas of how you can make this look like it's actually an Easter cake. All right, Mama, here goes. How did it do that? Oh, I'll talk about that in a sec. I probably know it, um, it, it can come off so that you can put it onto the table. Uh, no, it's, it's actually not meant to come off. It's, um, <laughs> my son's asking about up here, my cake stand. Check this out. It's actually come apart, which Nelly made me cry when I saw that. This is actually my mum's grandma's cake stand. Um, and I know that she put uh, stuff on it, glue. So I'm going to have to check that out afterwards of why I did that. But let's make this cake. All right. The great thing about this chocolate cake is that you literally use real chocolate. I'm going to bring you in just a tad closer just so you can see what we're doing. Um, it calls for 200 grams of chocolate. Now, below in our recipes, like in the description, it will have all of this listed. So just scoot there and have a look, but do play along with us at home. Now, I'm a bit of a hippie and I really love can making my own can chocolate. Yeah, just in a sec. I just want to let it melt. Can you hop off, baby? Because like I can't it. see it. Oh. Just wait. Can I help you make it? Yeah, we will. But it's going to be just in a sec. Okay. So, the great thing, I, I make it with my own homemade chocolate. And make sure you hit subscribe here because I'm going to show you guys how to make that. And definitely check out the description box below because I'll link up for you a recipe of how simply and wholesomely you can make your own homemade chocolate. It's a cinch. Well, Anywho, just no, 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 don't mix it. The great thing about making the chocolate and making this cake is that you can do a few different steps at the one time so i've got the chocolate melting and the next thing i want to do is uh, yeah just wait is i want to do 150 grams so see how it says 50 100 and then what's that number 150. okay let me grab the chopping board for you and your knife okay pop it down and you're going to which level are you going to cut at though? How much should I say we needed? 150. That's it. So there. No, no, no. So that's from here. That's the 50 tab, the 100, the 150. Yeah, I was pointing to that. Oh, were you? Sorry. Okay, push that down. And then you just want to cut it into a few small pieces. Has anybody else got a babe at home that loves cooking Isn't chocolate like cake? That? He heard that word and came running. <laughs> Okay, I'll go get something that is chocolate cake. Okay. All right, we've lost you for a sec. So all I do is while the chocolate is melting, you want to be getting the butter in as well. So just go ahead and chop it. Just like this. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 you can come up. Okay, so I'm just going to chop this butter into a few little chunks. I find that if you chop it a bit more, it is going to melt that bit quicker, just like this. Chocolate cake, chocolate cake book. Oh yeah, there is a chocolate cake book. Chocolate cake. Oh, you want to leave that up there? Okay. Yeah. I'm making chocolate cake. You guys can share the stool. Okay. okay. So we'll oh, put our we butter to... in. Let's get two. With our chocolate that is melting, and the great thing is now you can walk away and give the kids. Get them involved, another task to do. This chocolate cake, I make literally in a bowl. But you guys can get fancy and you can do it. Baby, you're gonna have to step off there because they can't see um, what it is. Come around and stand here, maybe. Okay. Okay. Um, you, yeah. You can keep that melting and then the next thing, is that you want to put some eggs in. All right, so we're going to call for... Can I crack the eggs? No, I think I'll do that one. You got, what, what do we do, though, when we're whisking or we're just stirring anything in a bowl? We hold the side. Okay, have a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, do you want to let go of that one? I actually got to wix this Okay, egg. here we go. Squish it out. Squish it. Okay. Then we've got 
our three eggs in. We're aiming for five here, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like having the kids. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Do you like having them with me in the kitchen or would you prefer... Oh! <laughs> That's really good. Can I do my um, hand? Okay. Can I wash my hands? Yeah, yeah, go wash your hands. All right, chicken, yep. Yeah. What are we going to do, though? Hold the side. Hold the side! That's all I tried to do okay. and, then, and then the eggs splattered everywhere. Okay, give them a really good whisk. And would you believe it, we're nearly halfway to actually having this cake done. So it is so, so simple if you want kids to be doing this. My chocolate is melted. Just a sec, just a sec. My chocolate is melted and I'm just checking in on my butter. Make sure that when you're doing this, and it goes without saying, but I really hope that this is inspiring you to get your kids in the kitchen as well, is that... You, um, yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, the next thing we want to add in. Almost at the end of this video, could we read them the chocolate cake book? Just be quiet, please. Okay, the eggs are in. Now for the sugar. Do you want to put the sugar in? There we go. So that's calling for two thirds of a cup of sugar. I use, can we whisk this up, guys? Can I have a turn for a sec? So we, I use Rapidura, but you can use. Um, no, 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 please don't bring that close up. Can you step off, darling? Because they can't see. See, we've got to always have a look at ourselves in here to make sure that they can see what we're doing. Okay, you guys can give that a whisk. You could absolutely rice, rice, use rice, coconut rice, sugar. Rice, you could even rice, use rice, maple, rice, rice malt. Um, I'm really getting into using monk fruit sugar as well. I don't know if you guys have seen that paleo option, but I love it. Um, and the next bit... You want to add in, and this is sort of my always go to. Excuse me, could you please be quiet? Sorry. Um, is you want to add in some vanilla. That will always soften the taste of the chocolate. It will make it a lot smoother, and it will be, then it won't be bitter. Okay. And then while that vanilla is going in, you want to add in your baking powder. I am always big at this, and I want to give you this kind of tip as well, that if you're adding something that you want to be incorporated, right, that's very small. So a good thing of that is like vanilla, baking powder, say it's an oil or it's like a lemon flavoring. I always try and get that in at the same time that I've got a liquid because then I, at least I know that it's really well incorporated and it hasn't gotten lost in the flour because let me show you can I have this for a sec you can see there now let me show you guys see how clumpy it is you don't want that no way Jose you want it so that it's really well incorporated so this is where I use this whisk definitely like an aero one but you might like to use the KitchenAid or the Thermomix or hand mixer, whichever one it is. All right, you guys can keep whisking that now. It's done, it's done. Okay, um, and I'm just gonna check in on my butter and my chocolate. So this one is an awesome recipe that if you have any, my butter's nearly there by the way, I, I can see that I probably should have chopped it up. Boys, could you stay quiet please? Yeah. Okay. Um, I should have chopped it up for it to be a lot smaller. That means that it would have melted quicker. The great thing about this is that if you have any intolerances with chocolate, say you're not great with dairy, is that you can take this hack that I'm going to show you, and it'll definitely be in the description of how I make my own homemade chocolate using raw cacao. Baby, please. Um, if how I use raw cacao is that then you don't have to use it as a dairy. You could also buy a non-dairy chocolate bar here in Australia. Loving Earth is a really awesome one. But you might also want to really push the kids' taste buds and try and get a really dark chocolate. When I make this with lint, I aim for about an 80% dark chocolate. All right, let's have a look in here. All righty, I think we are good to go. 
So can you guys just hop down for a sec? Because this is going to be hot yep. and I want mama to do it. So I've done, my chocolate is melted with my butter over the hot water there. And next, I'm just going to pour it in. There was one or two big bits of chocolate, but I know, of butter, that I know that when I whisk it, just a sec, it will be okay. So I am like that same idea where I said before of incorporate this stuff when it's in a liquid form. If I had in there my flour that I'm going to be using, which is a hazelnut meal, it would just mean that it's, it, I've got more chance of it clumping up. All right, so here, let's have a look at this, guys. Like you can see, it is silky smooth. So smooth and delicious. Okay, just a sec. Now I remembered that I didn't add any sweetener to my chocolate, my homemade chocolate. So I'm actually just gonna put a splash of maple syrup in. Do not do this if you are following my recipe, which I'll write in the description below. You can grab there if you just keep a hold of the bowl, darling. Um, if if you're just using like regular milk melted chocolate, so you're after 200 grams of the melted chocolate. Mm -hmm. We've got three quarters of a cup of sugar in there, um, and I just use like a rapid dura. We've got five eggs, a little bit of baking powder, uh, and my butter, which was 150 grams. And the next thing that you're gonna do, that's perfect. All right, we're done, guys. The very last thing is you're going to add in some almond meal. Now, you're probably looking at this going, Stace, I'm not sure that's almond meal. You're right. Bang on. The, I choose the um, nut meal that I love the best. And one of them is hazelnut. I tell you, I also am in love with pecan meal. You can blend it up yourself. Just literally put hazelnuts in and blend it. Or you might like to buy it from the sauce or something like that. Um, but... This hazelnut with the chocolate. Hello, what would that taste like? Nutella. Okay, do you want to pour it in, babe? And I pour it all in. Pour it all in. Okay. Just for the whisk. Oh, that's a good idea. Thanks, darling. Okay, can mommy have a turn over the top? Isn't it looking good? So you can you see here, guys? Yeah, just wait, please. Um, I have used an, um, a whisk the whole time. So if you really want to give this to the kids and be like, you go for yourself, good one, then absolutely they could, like, without a pickle at all. Enough, she all right. Away and Remember? We're not talking. It's just going to be mama talking. <laughs> Next, you want a cake tin. I'm using a smaller one. I don't go and use an absolutely humongous one. Why? Because I actually love, and you can see him here in the background. Hello, Mr. Cake. I love chopping it in half and adding in cream and things like that to it. Um, and I find that if it's too big, then it will flatten, right? Um, so I always just do it in a smaller one. You could absolutely do this in a... Uh, Thank you. You could do these in a, um, like cupcakes as well. I'm just gonna move you back so you can see how I line my tin in a very stace way. If you guys line your tin in a special way, can you let me know in the comments? Maybe there's like a way that you've learnt. Um, I'm all ears. <laughs> but for me, I literally just do this. So I squash it in. No, 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 just wait, just wait. And I just fold it over the edges. And then I make sure before I'm ready to pour it in, with my eager buddies on the side, is that I just fold down those edges. So see here, like it's kind of sitting up, I just fold them over. What you could also do is you could grab, and if the kids were doing this all on their own, say you just outsourced it and you said, here's Stace's video, go for it. Um, you could put an elastic band around the side here and then they can tuck the edges of their baking paper into it. All right, just before we do, we want, oh, I grabbed it out. Here it is. I was using it for my chocolate, the spatula. So just go around the outside and also what I do, you know, I know that the whisk was great, but I just want to go underneath it and just make sure that none of it is sticking to the side so that then 
when you pour it in, you're not left with, have you guys ever done this? Let me know with a little thumbs up. I so hope I'm not alone here. Um, but you go and pour in the cake and then half of it's sitting on the side. <laughs> you're like, oh man, how did that stay stuck to it? It's because you haven't done the side. All right, let's pour it in, baby. Okay. Careful, careful, we do it slow. Okay. All right. Chicken, do you want to use this and get all of it out? Chicken. Go. Maybe here's a chicken. Oh. I've just taste tested and I can make sure, I can confirm it is delicious. Alrighty, can I do the rest of that? You want to make sure you're getting it all out. So again, just like this. Oh, so good. Do you want to start licking that? <laughs> uh, it is really runny, which is good. And by really runny, it's not too runny that it's not going to cook. Um, I'm going to put that in the oven. Oh, and then we can decorate the cake. And then we can decorate the other one because we want to give you some ideas, don't we? Yeah. Of ways that you can decorate. And before we made some bunnies. Like, yeah, yeah, baby. Just let mommy talk. Um, okay, you can do it. How's the cake? Better. Did you want to say that to me? <laughs> yeah. How about you stick your finger, guys? How about you guys come and stand back here for a little bit? Does anybody else like just constantly move around stalls in their kitchen? They tell me one day I'm going to miss this, uh, them being little. I'm told that. Debatable. Um, all right, I want to show you how I. Oh, I keep forgetting. Oh, what? Nana Blakus's <laughs> cake stand. Alrighty, so this is it. This is the cake done. I'm being crazy here. You guys might have caught at the front of the video. Um, my cake stand has oh. taken a little tumble, so I have to fix it up. But this is it. It is beautiful and so good. Um, can't wait to try. I line the bottom of the cake tin separately. I fold a square. Oh, I hope that comes back up. Let me know, guys, if there's like a secret that you have. I am, I'd love to know. All right. Yeah, this broke. But anywho, the cake I love, once it comes out of the oven, so you're to pop it in on 180 for 45 minutes, and it will come out and it'll be slightly spongy on top. Now you don't want it to be that it's absolutely wet and that's no good, but you're trying to aim for nearly the consistency of what you do. <laughs> um, of uh, like a chocolate brownie. It's like, that's kind of what you're after. I leave it in the tin for about 10 minutes to cool. And then I just pull it out onto a wire rack I'm very lucky with my home here um, that I've literally just got the back like a window straight away and it's good to go. How can you dress it? Well, I've got a few ideas. The first is, I want to show you these ones. We've made a whole bunny family. Oh my gosh, if you love this idea, give me a little like there. Do you like it? Oh, I'm interested to know. Give me a like. Um, we did this by literally on the back, and I want to give you this hat. Do you want to go and grab the bottle tops that we had on the table for me? Doesn't matter. Could you just go grab the bottle tops? I want to show these guys how I did it. Um, and we, we made these um, by tracing. And then all I've done is I've stuck on the back some sticky tape on little paddle pop sticks. The smaller ones have little robot paddle pop sticks and even like little tooth ones. Now, let me show you how I did it because I am not artistic at all. Can you tell? Um, I lined up two bottle top lids. Thank you, Stasis Fermenting Course, for having bottle tops everywhere. Um, if you want to know more about that fermenting course, I'll put it in the um, description below. But yeah, these are it here. So we just traced around them and I drew some ears and chopped them out. But let's see how cute these go in. So it's like a little family. Hang on, hang on. I just want to show them these two. Just wait. Like, even just two. Can I stick some They're so cute, right? 
Do you like that? They're so beautiful. What a lovely idea that too, like say you've got in the family, can you, can we do that one after? Can we do, I just want to take a photo of this before we put the others in. Oh, can I put this one? Can I put? Aww. Hang on. No, I want to play with it. <laughs> before I take a photo. Oh, we will. Um, this would be a great way that say um, one of the kids wants to cook and the other one doesn't. You could say, you go and decorate it for me. You like make some decorations. You could do these same shapes out of little Easter eggs. Um, the other thing that you could do is that you could put in there like some actual bunnies as well. Like, um, like you know those little chicken ones as well. But the idea that I had and that I want to try with my little dudes, this was his one. So gorgeous, I love it. Is what you could do is you could pull these out just like this and put it down. Can I put it in? No, 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 not in. It's gonna sit on top like this and grab your icing sugar and go over the top of it and you'll have the little shape of the bunny. You could do the same thing with sprinkles. Do you like these ideas, guys? I'll Leave me a little sprinkles. like. Um, you could also do that even with cream, right? So say that you're like, Stace, that looks good. I'm gonna whip some cream up, which my love, go for it. You could do that and then some sprinkles over the top. I did see a really sugar. cute, that's it, like with icing sugar like this. Oh, that's right. Oh, we're not gonna, no, I'm just talking that idea through. We're not gonna really do it. Um, but you could do even in like, um, if you've got orange sprinkles, you could do the shape of a carrot. Uh, any of those sort of ideas, but yeah, let's let's just put him in. And do you want to put that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just where it is. Just... I didn't get to put mine in. Didn't you? Okay, see where the hole is. Yeah. Just where the hole is. Mm, I got Okay. <laughs> if you have an idea of how you would dress this cake, can you be a doll and let me know in the comments? I would love some more ideas. And hey, if it's just Stace, I'm eating it as is then baby, that's perfect. But maybe you're like, no, oh, I've got this great icing, put it on. But seriously, that makes me a bit teary. Aren't they gorgeous? This is such a great way to bring joy at this time, right? You could even do little garlands that say, Happy Easter. Please give this a go. It is so incredibly nourishing with this chocolate. Like, it is, it is just so, so delicious. I think you'll feel like you're eating the most amazing fudgy cake. Make it into cupcakes, put it into a log. Maybe you want it to be like a little log and that that's what the bunnies are sitting on. I don't know, but I tell you, I love it. Please give this one a like and hit subscribe below. I'm gonna keep sharing recipes throughout the whole school holidays and from here on out, of um, different snacks that you can make with the kids. And I'll be sure to link up as well in the description, the full list. Oh my God, I love this so much. I'm, I think this has been my favorite snack one yet, but I'll definitely put in the description there um, the, the list of all the different ones that I've made because there's even been hot chocolate marshmallows. Like, these marshmallows you could make up into little Easter sizes or even use a little Easter cut out, cookie cutter, and cut out the marshmallows. I'll make sure I link that one up and put them in the, like, the size of these little uh, bunnies. That would be amazing. You could put your own Easter eggs on it. Please give it a go and be sure to jump over to my Facebook or my Instagram. I'm Stacey Claire there, health coach, and share with me what you made. I tell you, my boys will just light up if you made this one with them because this is like their favorite chocolate cake and I love it because I know what's inside is incredibly nourishing for them. Okay, I hope I see you soon. Do click subscribe and give us a thumbs up on, the, on um, this video. See you.